Hello beautiful lady, welcome to the tech company. What exactly do you want? To show our happiness at having you here, we are offering you a percentage discount on any products or services that you want. Chris stop. You are so funny. For me you look so beautiful, graceful and charming for tonight dinner with my mother. I'm so full of excitement. Finally, I will be introducing my fiancé to my mother. Guess what? She is so anxious to see that lucky girl. That is going to marry her beloved precious son. <laughs> lucky is understatement. Favor is the right word. I'm favor by God to marry you. You see, how special I am. Fine boy. A man of grace. I'm too much. Ha 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 ha. I Chris, I'm the most favored guy to marry you. You are an angel, an amazing, beautiful woman of God, sent into my life by God. Girl, I am blessed to have you in my life. My world is not complete without you. With someone special like you in my world, my life will skyrocket to the top. You are beautiful, special, and unique. I thought my mom showered me with love. But, God decided to add another liquid love, flowing from you to me. I'm a blessed guy. What else do I want in life? Fumi will you marry me? Are you actually asking me again to marry you? My answers still remain yes. Chris, I will marry you. Woohoo! It's time for dinner with my mom. I will quickly go get my briefcase from my mother office, then we live. Okay, I'm waiting. I almost forgot why I asked you to meet me here in my mom's company. Instead of where I work. Come let me take you all around the company. Very soon, you will be a member of this family. Ma, the dinner is ready. Every meal is well garnished and serve on the dining table. Including your exclusive wine. Okay. Please take the wine away from the table, because it contain alcohol. Alcohol is for me a sinner. But tonight, I have to be holy. Bring my son favorite wine. That's what we will have tonight. Okay ma. Why are they not here yet? I hate when I'm kept waiting. Children. Gush. Madam they are here. Quickly get the door. Fumi, I hope you enjoy the dinner? Yes ma. The meals are yummy and delicious. Thank you for hosting me, to have this dinner with you. I'm grateful. I'm glad you like the meals. My eyeglasses are on now. Let me take a proper look at you, if you are beautiful enough for my son. Well not bad what I'm seeing. You are perfectly beautiful for my son. Thank you ma. Fumi, I have heard so much about you from my son. How lovely and kind you are. A praying woman and even a good cook. I can't wait to taste your meals. Also, the amazing things you do for God and in the house of God. Well what can I say as a mother? Who would not want his son to marry a woman just like you? I want my son happiness. And if you make him happy. Who am I to come between? The love you both share. Knowing fully well, your pastor has approved, you both can get married. That shows the marriage is from God. Well. You both have my blessings, you can marry my son. Glory. Thank you so much ma. I'm grateful. I have been praying for this. I don't know what to expect tonight. I'm honored to be accepted into your family. I want you both to keep dating. Let's say three to four years. Then the wedding can take place. It has always been my dream to build a very big mansion for my son as a gift on his wedding day. His mother have money and I want my son and his family to have the best things in their life. Ask him. I have always promised him that gift, as his wedding gift. Also. I want the wedding to be out of this world. I'm Mrs. Gold V. I want most of my friends from all around the world to grace the occasion. So Fumi, three to four years is okay. You guys should keep dating.
Ma, the thoughts are lovely. The gifts and your plans are great. I do appreciate them. I and Chris has both agree to have a simple wedding. I and Chris, your son, are going to go for the kind of wedding we can both afford. We still do appreciate your contributions to make our day a beautiful one. But the kind of wedding that we make both of us to wait for three to four years is not what we both want. The marriage life is more than the wedding day. We do plead you permit us to have our own wedding plans as the spirit of God leads us. So, Ma, please consider our wedding date and time. This December, I can see you are very bold, and you know exactly what you want. Children of this generation playing smart. Anyway, I will not come between you and my son plans. You can both go ahead and get married. Thank you so much, Mummy, for your unconditional love. Always supporting me. What a relief! I'm so lucky to be loved, not just by one incredible woman, but by you two women in my life. I will do anything for you, my son, just to be happy. Let us cheer to this beautiful union that is about to begin. Woohoo! Love you, Mummy. Love you, Fumi. Cheers to her love. I'm so happy, Madam approved. They can both get married. I have a wedding to plan for. Lots of meals I will prepare for the guests that will be coming. Let me quickly go back to the kitchen before Madam finds me here. Hum hum hum. Son, we need to talk now that she is gone. What, mother? Son, you can't marry her. I won't allow you to marry Fumi. Why, mother? You are all that I have. Your father refused to marry me when he finds out I was pregnant for him. As a single mom, I have to raise you all by myself. I did not get married again. I made that sacrifice for you, my son. It was frustrating for me be all alone by myself raising you without a father. I promise myself to be a lovely mother and a father to you. I didn't allow the situation to bring me down. My promise to give you a good life motivated me to start my V Tech company. If you get married, son, I will be all alone, lonely, sad, depressed, and sick. Son, I can't live without you. I can't take it for now. Please give me time. That was why I was talking about three to four years. I need to be prepared for this mentally. Don't do this to me, son. Mother, do you want me to be a single man just like you? No, son. I want you to marry. I want to have grandchildren. Mom, allow me to marry Fumi. Nothing is going to happen to you. Both of you will be in my life. Son, you know I don't like to share. I'm jealous of her already. Stealing my son away from me. <laughs> Mother, Fumi is not stealing you from me. You have your place in my heart. So also Fumi. So also God. Mother, I love you. I will always be there for you. Hope my love is bigger than hers. Your love is bigger, Mummy. Relax. You will get used to it. I know how much you love me. You are my everything, son. Mother, let's go inside. You have a wedding to plan. Okay. How was the dinner with your son fiance last night? Mrs. Myers, I'm terrified. I don't know what will happen to me if my son gets married. He is all I got. He is the husband I do not have. I was unable to sleep last night. I was thinking all through the night. Yet my son was super excited that he is about to get married. Do you know? He always check on me in my room with a good night kiss before he goes to bed. But last night he was busy chatting with her on the phone, laughing. The children of this generation are ungrateful. After all I have done for him, he wants to live me and get married. Eee! Stop the fear, Mrs. Gold. 
It is a good thing, what your son is bringing into your life. More children. That means your family will expand. And your wealth will stay in the family. Allow him to get married. But keep him to yourself. That all. Just like I did with my three sons. They are married, but they are all in my life more than in their wife lives. I create the circumstances that keep them to me alone. Including all my grandchildren all to myself. And their wives can do nothing. I have learned so much from you, Mrs. Gold. Why are you acting weak? You don't know this girl. She is different. She has the Spirit of God in her. Your son's wife don't know God. Including your sons. Fumi. I have looked into her spirit, she is stronger than me. I believe with her kind of person in my son's life. My plans might not work. She is too spiritual. She is like those Christian, the Bible describe, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You are afraid Mrs. Gold. And is not good at all. They said light is greater than darkness. But I believe your darkness is greater than her light. Let your night rule over her day. You can't change your son mind not to marry that girl. All you need is to take over the marriage, after your son get married to her. Just like I did with my last son, who was proven stubborn. I humble him to my level. Now I'm the best person in his life. You are right. They want to get married. Let them get married. They have my blessings. I will teach my son a lesson, that I Mrs. Gold V, gave birth to him. A clay cannot be greater than the potter, who made him. Now you are talking. Little children of yesterday. They want to detail for their mothers. Never. I will deal with both of them. Waiter, please get us our club sandwich and cheesecake with two can of milkshakes. Yes madam. I will serve you right away. Madam what are we doing here? Amara, I will go straight to the point, why I want you here. Go ahead, take the documents from my hands. Don't be scared. I want you to take a good look at those documents. I believe you will recognize everything written in those documents. Every dirty deal you did with Mr. Anderson, that got him, his current position. How you mastered mind the whole plan. And half a million dollars got missing from the company. As a result of your evil act with Mr. Anderson, Mr. Roberts lost his job. He spent five years in prison. Bravo, you got your current position as my son's secretary. What exactly do you want from me madam? Not what I want from you. But how, I will help you, so you will not spend your entire life in prison. Madam please don't do this to me. I'm the breadwinner of my family. If I go to prison, my whole family will suffer. Good. If you don't want to go to prison, here is what you must do for me. I want your company to be scammed $600 million, investment scam. Some expert from an international firm will come to see your boss, my son. Tricking him to invest in their company. Your role is to ensure my son approves and sign the documents. Then the money will be paid to their account. Boom. Leave the rest to me. What? No. Madam I can't do what you are demanding from me. I can't do such wickedness to my boss. He is so good to me. I regret what I did to Mr. Roberts, I vow, never to do such evil to anyone again. For two years, I was devastated, unhappy and depressed. I promise God, I will never do such evil again. Madam please, have mercy on me. I don't want to do that kind of evil act again. <laughs> shoo shoo. Amara, a thief is always a thief. Were you bold enough to tell Mr. Roberts? You and Mr. Anderson are the ones, who committed the crime. No. You made Mr. Roberts suffered for five years in prison, 
for what he knew nothing about. Or how you damaged his name, his career and his family. Stop the pretense Amara, you are evil. You are a criminal. Yes that's who you are. And you will do this dirty deal for me or else you will go to prison. Oh God, why me again, will I ever be free? Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
or else anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. Darling, what is happening? Why are they still detaining you? Babe, there are some scam documents I ought not to sign, which has caused our company to be defrauded $600 million by an international firm, not knowing they are fraud company. My secretary, Amar put those documents among the documents I ought to sign. But, she denied ever meeting with the clients. I should not have trusted Amara after her first situation with Mr. Roberts. I thought Mr. Robert was lying. Now she has done the same to me too. My God will judge her. Babe, I'm so scared. I don't know what will become of me. This is so painful. See what I have put you through. After we just got married. Darling, don't talk like that. This is not the time for you to be scared. Refuse to fear. For fear is a spirit that torment. Now is the time to be strong in thy Lord. And in the power of his might. This is the handwork of Satan. We must be very prayerful. God Almighty, by his spirit will help us, fishing out all those behind this evil act against you. This is so painful, so embarrassing. They came to arrest me at the airport. Knowing fully well. We are just coming back from our honeymoon. My mother is out of the country for a business meeting. She can't be disturbed by my situation. We have to wait for her to be back home. Honey, let's pray, before they ask me to leave. Father, I ask that you strengthen my husband in this trying time. And by the power in your name, we overcome this situation. And the culprit is brought to book. Father, you said, whom the Son of God has set free, is free indeed. Therefore, I declare my husband is free from this case. My husband is free from this accusations. He is set free from this police cell. In your name we are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I heard what happened to your husband. This is terrible. Sir. My husband is innocent. I need you to help me. The CEO is your best friend. Sir, please talk with him. They framed my husband. He needs to help my husband out of that police cell. Her secretary did this to my husband. Fumi. I would have loved to help you. But my hands are tied. My friend is very angry right now. But. But what sir? I have always liked you. I want you to be my mistress. It will be our little secret. If you agree to be my mistress, I will ensure your husband is out of that police cell in less than 24 hours. What? You are asking me to be your woman before you help me. Sir, if you can't help me, my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I'm not asking you to be my girlfriend. I'm demanding it. Remember I own this company. I will give you anything you want. Do you want the latest car or house? I will give it to you. If you don't help your husband, he will spend his life in jail. I believe this is not the kind of marriage you sign for. Visiting your husband in prison. Don't even think your mother-in-law will be able to save his son out of this situation. We are talking about a man who is a multi-billionaire, who also doesn't like your mother-in-law. They both have their differences. You and I are the only savior he has. You are wrong, sir. Jesus is my husband's savior. Just as he delivered Daniel out from the lion's den, God Almighty will deliver my husband out from this situation. You dare challenge me? Let me see how your husband will be set free. Sir. King Pharaoh in the Bible thinks he has the power to keep oppressing the children of Israel, keeping them in bondage. One day came, God fought for them, and they crossed the Red Sea successfully. But King Pharaoh and all his mighty army got drowned in the Red Sea. In Christ Jesus my husband has the victory, for he has delivered him from the hands of all his enemies. I see you are not afraid of the situation before your eyes. We will see how your God will help you. At this instance you are fired. 
get your things and get out from my company. Thank you, sir. I will gladly take my leave. You mean our boss fired you? Amara, why not sleep with him and save your husband out from this situation? Nobody would find out. It is better to save your marriage and your husband than allowing everyone gossiping about you. You just got married, you can't leave your life like this. How will you cope? Are you going to allow your husband live all his life in prison because of your pride as a Christian? Carla, nothing will be able to separate me from the love of Christ. In all these things, I and my husband are more than a conquerors. I will not bow to Satan. Even if God will not deliver my husband out from this situation. But I know one day, I will have the victory. The last laugh at Satan. For all his plans will fail. Girl I am afraid for you, I wish you all the best in life. I am going to miss you greatly. I will call you from time to time. I will miss you too Carla. Bye. No fear in me. Devil you came too late. You can't stop my progress. Because, greater is he that is in me. Than he, that is in the world. My master defeated you 2000 years ago, and you will remain defeated in my marriage. Rather in all these things, I will worship my God with this song. Far above principalities. Far above all powers. Far above the rule of darkness. That's how powerful your name is. Faster than the speed of thoughts, beyond solutions the mind can imagine. Literally, candidly, that's how powerful your name is. No other name was given to us, but your name, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus, whatever we bind on earth, is bound in your name. No other name was given to us, but your name, Lord Jesus. O Lord unrivaled authority in all the universe. Is vested in your name, Lord Jesus. Salvation and glory, the greatest power, are all wrapped up in your name, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you for in your name, I'm more than a conqueror's. I fear nothing. I fear no devil. I fear no situation. As King David defeated Goliath, so I win in all these trials and challenges. I and my husband are seated in heavenly places far above all principalities and powers in Jesus' name Amen. One week later. Where is my son? What have you done to my son? Mother, I did nothing to your son. You did nothing. My son just got married to you, and all this accusations has befallen him. My precious son in the police cell or because he got married to you. You have brought shame to my family. I told him to keep dating you. But he won't listen to me. Now, see what has happened to him. My son has been in police cell for one week now. You did not border to call me. Because your plan is to see my beloved son and his life in prison. But your plans have failed. He said, I should not call you because of the business deal you are sealing. He does not want you to be worried. Mother, I don't understand why you are blaming me. What does me getting married to your son has to do with what happened to him in his place of work? I know you are stressed out. You need to calm down. I'm so angry. I need to get my son out right away from that cell. Thank you, mother. For now, you are pardon. Where is my bodyguard? I have to go to the police station alone. Got that? Get my lawyer. You know all the plans I have put in place. I need to get my son out tonight. My precious son still love me. Woohoo. Yes, Madam Gold. What is my mother-in-law up to with his bodyguard, the caveman? I think I need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit concerning this woman. How come she will be able to get my husband out of that police cell tonight? Something is not right here. God, I need answers. One month later. Connie, we have to move in, into my mother's mansion. 
We need to start our life all afresh again. I have lost everything. Including you, adding all your money, so we can pay back the 600 million dollars. I have to be on my feet again, having my own dignity, having my own money, and having my own mansion. I need to provide for my own family. Babe, the situation has really affected my mother, she feels so bad, what has happened to her son? Babe, she wants me to be the CEO of her company. Afterwards, whatever she has belonged to me. Babe, this is a big miracle for us. This call for a celebration. Tonight we are out here in the best restaurant, celebrating. Cheers to a fresh start. <laughs> Honey, you call this a miracle? Open your eyes and see. This is exactly what your mother wants. To wrap you all around her. Please babe, don't say that about my mother, because she loves me. Why can't she rent a place for us? If she really wanted to help. She ensure I contributed all my money. So I won't have a dime to pay for a new apartment. I don't want us staying in your mother's mansion. She has been acting strange. That's because she is traumatized about the whole situation. And her doctor wants her to rest. Babe, try and understand. My mother is very lovely. You will come to enjoy her. She is still in shock. She doesn't want me afar off. She feels something evil might happen to me. You know I am the only child she has. Please babe, give her some time. She promised to fulfill her promise, building for us our own mansion. Is it your mother who is traumatized? Or you? The Bible says, in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Honey, God has given you the spirit of boldness to face and defeat any situation. You can't hide in your mother's back. So babe, what do you want me to do? Do you know the fear I was in, that I might spend the rest of my life in prison? The fear of how, I have lost everything. Now God has made my mother to give me her position, as the CEO of her VTech company, shaming all those who have mocked me. Now I have a mansion to live in again. Until I get my own. Babe I was so scared about my life and what will happen to our marriage. Please let's celebrate and look forward to a great future. Honey, you only spoke for yourself what you want, not what we want. I lost my job too and all I have. But, I will not allow the situation to scare me. Because that is what Satan wants. Complicating our life the more. God wants us to trust in him only. Not putting our trust in men. Honey, let's prayerful pray about this. If this is what God's will for us, moving into your mother's mansion. Babe, I'm the head of the house, and I know this is the best decision for us now. So cheers to a fresh start. Cheers to us. Mrs. Gold, you succeeded perfectly well in your plans. Now you have your son back to yourself. I put my son in his place, right back in my heart only. But, I need to get rid of his wife and get for my son the perfect wife. Whom I can control. Mrs. Gold. Why do you want to get rid of her? I'm scared of that girl. She prays too much. She is so bold. I think she understands perfectly well my manipulation on my son. I want her out of my son's life. Then you seriously need to go on a long trip to visit Lord Guba. The one, that had all power. With his power we defeat all our enemies. One spell from Lord Guba, your daughter-in-law, is totally gone from the surface of the earth. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Finally putting Fumi, in her place. Out from my son's life completely out from my family. Honey, you need to rest, you just came back from a long business trip. Let's say tomorrow, you can take your lovely wife out for a special dinner. To celebrate my birthday. 
along with a birthday gift. I sure deserve something special. Babe, today is your birthday, I'm taking you out for dinner. Not tomorrow. Please don't reject my offer. It is going to be beautiful and sweet. Your gift is already in my suitcase. So let's go. Really? Woohoo. Honey, let's go. My son, you are back? How was the business trip? Come sit, let's talk about it. Mother, we will talk about it tomorrow. Mother, how did it go with the birthday celebration? Did you still get the fruit tower birthday cake for my wife? Hope they deliver the cake on time. Hope you got her gifts. Hope she was excited to be celebrated. Enough of all these questions. Son, I'm so sorry I could not celebrate your wife as you wish. I suddenly fell ill. I was all alone in my room in pain. I could not get up. I could not scream for help. I was unable to reach the phone. Nobody to help me. I thought today will be the end of my life. Not quite long, I felt a bit better. I was able to get up from the bed. Oh my god, you mean you were all in this house, and none of you could check on my mother. Mary, what are we paying you for? Rather you neglected my mother. Babe, even you a Christian wife. What if something bad has happened to my mother? I am so disappointed at you. Mother, I need to take you to the hospital now. Okay my son. You think you can come from nowhere and steal my son love from me? Never. My son will always put me first before you. Birthday celebration my foot. You don't know me, go and ask who is Madame Gold V. I will deal with you. I'm not afraid of you. For you can do me nothing, because greater is he that's in me, than he that is in the world. I think you are the one who needs to go ask who I am. You cannot mess with me Fumi. Son I'm coming. Madam I'm so scared for you. Madam Gold my boss is very evil. Mary she can do me nothing. I'm in control of the situation praying. I can see fear in her eyes. I will prevail. I thank God. My boss Chris married you. You are a blessing in his life. I pray one day, he will see the manipulation of his mother. Amen. You know as Christian, God expect us to get married to a Christian brother or a Christian sister. He does not want us to be equally yoked with an unbelievers. But, if our in-laws are not saved it will be terrible, Mary. Luke 12 verse 53 says, The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The salvation of our in-laws is very very important. If not, we will have lots of problem in our marriage. This is why it is important for our loved ones to be saved. Now I understand. If my boss Mrs. Gold is a child of God filled with the Holy Spirit, she will not yield herself to Satan, to use her to destroy her son marriage. You got it right Mary. I have been praying intensively for her salvation. And for any of my loved ones whom are not yet saved. The devil is the god of this world destroying the souls of men. Madam Fumi do you know, it was your husband my boss who led me to Christ. Really? Yes and it had been wonderful in my marriage, because salvation came to my household and my husband household. We don't have that much in abundance. But our life is so sweet, full of joy, laughter and victory. I'm so happy for you Mary. This is a beautiful testimony. I was telling someone, she should never be afraid of household wickedness. Their master is defeated. Put them where they belong. Don't let them prevail in your life. But pray that they should be saved. God help my husband. Amen. Lord Guba, my daughter-in-law is still alive. Nothing happened to her after eating the food I poisoned. That is impossible. My poison has never failed. 
Take my staff, call her name three times and she will be struck dead. Fumi, Fumi, Fumi. I command you to dead instantly. Her powers are so strong. We will find another way to destroy her. Lord Gooba, she is my worst nightmare. What kind of a Christian did my son get married to? I need to destroy her. Put this hate charm in your son food for him to eat. Your son will hate her. And drive her completely it from his life. Then you can finally have your son to yourself. Thank you Lord Gooba. Good evening boss. Welcome home. Good evening Mary. Where is my wife? She is upstairs in the bedroom praying. And my mother. She is not yet back. At this time of the night. I need to call her. She ought to be resting as the doctor said. Not staying out late at night. Boss I need to show you something very important, before you call your mother. What is it Mary? Boss I want you to take a proper look at the computer screen and discover for yourself what you see. What? My mother poisoned my wife's food. Jesus Christ. My mother is this evil. How can she do this to me? She has to answer to me today. When she comes back. Boss you can't handle matters of the spirit with physical power. What do you want me to do Mary? I'm terrified already. This is exactly what the devil wants. For you to fear. Boss, you have to demonstrate the qualities of strength, courage and resilience in the face of adversity. The devil comes with the spirit of fear. After wish, he will come with the spirit of death. So he can utterly destroy you, your marriage, your health and your finances. Boss you must be diligent about your prayer life. You have take your intimate fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit every day seriously. Also studying God's word. Thank you for changing the food. Do my wife knows about this yet? No sir. Good. I will handle everything from here. Thank you Mary. Don't mention boss. My love I'm not surprised, the devil will use her to go such length. Babe, we have to leave this house, let's get our own apartment and live together as couples. <laughs> not now babe, I have always lived all my life in mansion, driving good cars. How will I be able to get my own mansion, or start my own tech company? What if life becomes difficult for us? What if I fail in life without my mother's help? Babe, please give me some time. Honey stop the fear. You are a child of God. Just give me time to put something in place. Then we will leave. Son dinner is served. Let's eat. Mother, my wife will come home soon, from church service. I would like to wait for her before I eat. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Guess what? For that, I specifically made this toasted fish for you. Just like you like it. <laughs> you my husband barbecue or marry barbecue it. I help a little. That's so thoughtful of you. And I appreciate it so much. I love you my husband. I love you too my wife. I have good news for you my husband. I'm pregnant. Glory to God. This means I will be a father soon. Is he a boy or a girl? My baby will be calling me daddy. Daddy I need a biscuit. Daddy I need a toy car. I'm so happy to hear this. Come let me feed the very soon mother. <laughs> Honey you are so funny. What is it with you? Just loving my wife. The charm failed. Not again. Now Fumi is pregnant. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Let me see how you will laugh with my son again. Babe, what is the matter? Why are you screaming? Hello! Hello! Babe, talk to me. What is happening? I need to get home immediately. Pick your call, mother. No respond. I refuse to fear. Nothing evil will happen to my wife and her pregnancy. Mary, talk to me. Did anything happen to my wife? Boss, your wife fell down the staircase. I'm following the hospital ambulance from behind. They are rushing her to state hospital. I'm coming right away. Bevel, you have failed. You cannot destroy my family. You cannot take my wife and my baby. I keep both of them alive in Jesus' name, amen. Five hours later. Dr. Saki, how is my wife doing in the pregnancy? Mr. Chris, I'm so surprised. Your wife lost some blood yesterday. And today, she fell down from the staircase. Congratulations, Mr. Chris. Your wife and your baby are both alive. After all tests done, both of them are perfectly fine. As a doctor, I know this is a miracle. The handwork of God. Mr. Chris served your God very well. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. You watches over us. Therefore, no harm shall befall us. How great you are! For you have given us your angels to keep charge over us. They have bear us up in their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone. I love you, Lord. I worship you, everlasting Father, for you laugh in the boasting of our enemies. Thank you, Lord. Mr. Chris, I know you are very excited, but your wife have an ankle sprain. She will be fine. Use an ice pack or ice slush bath 15 to 20 minutes and repeat every 2 to 3 hours while she is awake. Thank you Dr. Saki, can I see my wife? Sure! Babe what happened? Honey I don't know. I only knew I was talking with you on the phone. I felt hounds pushed me from my back and I fell down the staircase. What? Huh? Babe take your rest. I need to talk with Mary right now. Mary, where were you when my wife fell down the staircase? Boss, I was in the kitchen, sir. When I heard her screaming, I rushed to her. I quickly called ambulance number, and we took her to the hospital. Boss, how is madam and her pregnancy? She and the baby are doing perfectly okay. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer works. Where was my mother when all this happened? In her bedroom, boss. Mother, where were you when my wife fell down the staircase? My room, of course. Son, are you trying to accuse me? I push your wife down the staircase? Mother, you just agreed to your crime. Who else was with you upstairs? Nobody. Except you only. Mother, you have allowed jealousy to eat you up. You push your own daughter-in-law who is carrying your grandchild to fall down the staircase. For what reason, mother? I'm so disappointed at you, mother. How could you do such evil acts? What you did is wickedness. How will I do such evil? How can you believe your own mother will stoop low to carry out such evil act? Mother, enough of your pretense and manipulation. I don't buy it anymore. I feel so ashamed of myself. My own mother will be doing this kind of evil things. If you can hurt me this bad, this proves to me you can hurt others too. Mother, from this instance, I quit working for you. I don't want to have anything to do with your tech company. I'm leaving your mansion this minute. I'm going to get my own apartment. I will get a job and take care of my family. Bye. Son, please forgive me. Please don't leave me. You are the only one I have. Don't leave me. I will die. E Mother, you will not die. Nothing will happen to you. Son, please forgive me. It was the devil. Don't leave me, son. I promise I will change. I promise I won't do anything to hurt your wife again. Son, all this happened because she came to steal you from me. Now tell me, mother, all the evil you have done. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Mother, I'm waiting. 
I poisoned her food, but it failed. I also put sarm in your food, so you will hate her and drive her away but it also failed. I blackmail your secretary to do all my plans. I mastered mind the whole plans for your boss to arrest you, because I have some hard evidence that can rain at his company. So he agreed to my plans. I also gave a contract deal to your wife boss, to harass your wife and also, ensure your wife is fired. So you can depend on me only. And never to leave me. Mother, what I feel for you is pity. What you need in your life is Jesus. Mother allowed Jesus into your life, let him be the Lord of your life, so you can stop being evil. Can't you see how Satan wants to destroy you, and use you to destroy your family? Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
the devil will do all manners of evil to him. Written for us in the Bible, concerning the madman who was possessed by several devils, got tired of his condition for being tormented by devils. Rather he called to Jesus and Jesus set him free of all this legion of devils. Finally the man found peace in his life. What about the woman with an issue of blood, who had suffered for good twelve years in that condition? Press on to touch the hem of Jesus' garment and she was made whole. In Christ Jesus there is peace from depression. I'm so happy we were right on time to rush, you quickly to the hospital. And the overdoses drugs has been flush out from your system. <laughs> we have forgiven you Omar. Jesus loves you and he wants you to have eternal life. I'm so happy for the love you both has showed to me. Despite all the evil I did to you Mr. Roberts and you too sir. Who are willing not to forgive. We love you. Jesus loves you too. I want to be born again. I want to be saved. Now say the prayer of salvation along with me. O oh Lord God. The End Film by Anne All film written by Anne. Hi my name is Anne. I believe you were inspired and blessed by this movie. Please subscribe, like, comment and share this movie with your friends and loved ones. So we can reach more people, impacting their life with this movie. Kindly watch the next movie. God bless you. How you born again? How you ready to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Do you know Jesus? Do you want to rededicate your life to God? Do you want to experience peace in your life? You too can begin a new life with Jesus Christ today. I invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer along with me. O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information how you can grow as a child of God. Please get to us, through the comments section. See you in my next movie. Bye.